Hey radio hobbyists, how's it going? I'm just uh, tuning in to WBCQ. It just came on, on the air for today. And so I'm doing a little comparison between radios. So here's my ICOM 7300 ham radio. It does, of course, do Genie, which is general coverage receiver. So it's a great general coverage receiver, as you would expect. And, uh, yep, WBCQ's coming in really strong. If I put the RF gain right up full, I'm, I'm over S9. So, yeah, um, coming in nice. Now, how would I compare this to, say, my R75? Different antenna, mind you. Diff my shortwave radios are on a different antenna than the ham. The ham is on a vertical, uh, vertical, uh, 31 foot uh, on a 9 to 1 ballon. And this is on a random wire with my uh, wind radio 9 to 1 ballon. Um, so it's just a random length wire. Uh, you may have seen it in previous videos. Anyway, uh, really coming in nicely there at a strong S9. And I also have my CR1A going down here. I have to admit that with this DSP from Radio Shack that I got, this one's sounding the best right now. Um, not because it's a superior receiver, but the audio. You know, it's a kind of an audio thing. Maybe I'll pipe the audio into um, the video direct, and we can do a quick comparison here. Stand by. I'm going to do some direct connections here. Okay, these are probably a bit overdriven. I can't help it. Um, okay, let's go to the R75. Okay, I can't do... Um, Samplings for more than like 10 seconds, guys, because I'll get a copyright strike. Um, sorry about that, but that's how YouTube operates. So let's do the ICOM 7300 ham radio next. Okay, which ones did you... <laughs> Let me start over again. Which one did you like best? All three sound great to me. Um, I recommend not using the front speaker on the R75. I've got even my IC7300 plugged into a separate receiver. And I like this little pile radio. It's pretty full-bodied sound in a compact size. It's, it's kind of got two cones, but it's it's not a coaxial or anything. There's it's only one driver, and uh, this I find works really well with this Radio Shack DSP. I'm glad I picked that sucker up. It was fifteen dollars at a ham fest in the original box, all the packing manuals, everything. What a deal! If you uh, I also have a, jeez, uh, uh, what's that thing called? I have another audio DSP, but it's the controls on it are so scratchy and need cleaning and everything, so I haven't used it. Um, but I enjoy using this one. It's uh, got some really nice settings. Uh, it comes in very handy with a little portable setup like this. 
Okay, well, that's my video for today. Nothing too special. WBCQ, I love that channel. Okay, well, everybody, talk to you real soon. Radio Hobbyist out.